Hey, hey everybody, King Coward here, and we're back with another episode of Dot Hack Infection. Last time we helped Pyrrhos with his little issue, and we got him all fixed up, and now we have some mail. So we have something from Sanjuro, just one of those uh, little back and forth emails, and I think this is the right option. Uh, and now we have something from Black Rose detailing that the original area that we went to to go see the girl in white was actually a hoax, but we have found where the actual area is supposedly going to be. So, let's head into the world, see what's going on. And it's going to be in Theta server, so I'm just going to head over there straight away. I don't... Oh my gosh. I have no idea why I do that. I get my buttons screwed up. No idea why. Right. Theta! Cursed, despaired paradise! You're gonna go, right? Alright, so let's get the party set up, obviously with her. Okay. You know, let's get her in first. I have an idea. Huh. Not available. Well, I guess we could go with Elf, I guess. Or not. Huh. Would you like to join? Okay, good. I was about to say. Okay, so I have an idea. We could go there. Ooh, but that's a level 20. I was thinking we could just do this, though. Because that'll get us experience, which we probably need to go to that other area. But also... There's something good that we get from here. That is the area talked about in the Gardenia fan post on the server. Well, on the board, I should say. Uh, so yeah, um, let's just go there. Figured that might be the best way to go about this. And I have a suspicion that it's going to lag a little bit in here, because this is a pretty intensive area for... Uh, the game to run on. So apologies if it gets a little slow at some points. I'm gonna try and minimize that if possible. Oh my gosh. Well, that went quick enough. And you guys know the drill. Fortune wire, risk of treasure, disarm it, open it up, frost armor. Hey, we're actually getting some decent stuff now. Well, comparatively. Um, probably better to just have frost armor. But yeah, just bear with me guys, uh, I'm gonna try and have this lag as little as possible. It's gonna be a little laggy though. This area just happens to be very, uh, like I said, it's, it's just a very intensive area to load for the game. And with recording and everything, it just kind of brings it a bit, kind of a bit to a halt in some respects. I'm also gonna have to be a lot more careful about this because <laughs> I don't think anyone here is really intended to be much of a healer. But Sanjudo has some stuff that's helpful. I'm gonna just go up and hope that works. Ooh, but left or up? Uh, let's just go up. Alright, well, it's not the worst yeah. problem to have. Oh my gosh. At least you're not like Pedos giving me a fucking speech every time I accidentally talk to you. Okay, good. And I, th I think you actually go into the dungeon from this point on. Yeah. Pretty Whoa. Tough. Please give 
give this to Miss Gardenia? Love letter to Gardenia. No, I don't want it. <laughs> it's not for you. Please be careful with it and don't you dare throw it away. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I guess we're gonna go for them. Alright, huh? Yeah. But yeah, you know, uh. Unfortunately, this area, for some reason, I don't even know why, but. You know, and I'm gonna keep saying this a couple times probably just to <laughs> reaffirm that I understand that it's going to be a little bit laggy and that's very unfortunate, but there's not really much I can do. For some reason, this area just. It's hard for the game to process in just this kind of area. And I don't think it's too bad. Because we're already doing enough damage to kind of offset how slow it gets sometimes. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going up. Gardenia? Alright. That you was quick. Seem to have no manners. Oh, uh... oh, I'm sorry. Are you Miss Gardenia? Yes, yes, I am. What do you want? Right. Someone asked me to give this letter to you. Someone? I guess she's a fan of yours. No, thank you. <laughs> I kind of see her point, though. See, I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> you were doing so good with your dialogue up, up until that point, Kite. Why should you care about their silly little fan club? The correct answer is that you shouldn't. Alright, get you... Let's, uh, I guess staccato. Staccato! Boop, 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 boop. I love that skill. It's really good. Alright, simple enough. Simple, simple, simple. I don't really care about the chests right now. They're, they're just not worth my trouble. At least not right now. So, maybe some of you guys are going to be a little upset about that, but it's not going to be the difference to anything, I promise. I'm not passing up on some uber item. Because the way this is set up is a lot of the dungeons are pretty much built to where you're going to get your best items out of the god statue. So, as long as you're getting those most of the time, you're probably going to be okay. I didn't... what? I didn't even know there was a chest there. Oops. I guess it must have spawned and I just didn't see it. Wait, is there more? Oh no. Okay. Yeah, we're leveling up, which is nice. Getting some Invisible good egg. stuff going. Let's have you heal. I like it that. Alright. And... Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing... Oh wait. Oh, god. I'm blind. I didn't notice that uh, room up there. Leave me alone. <laughs> But I promised. I don't know why you did they that. They must first have place. forced this upon you. Yeah. Well, you could say that. <laughs> then it's not really a promise. Forget about it. Kite, gotta say, you're kind of being a bit of a creeper. Lady said, leave. Leave me alone. So, what do you do? Well, probably should just leave her alone. Alright, and let's staccato to try and make this simpler. Alright. Simple, simple, simple. Let's get this chest, because it's right there. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, what you got? Just some water witches. Nothing nothing too bad. Ouch. Talk about the damage though. God. Uh, uh, come on. Stop running. Just let me hit you. Alright. Boom, boom. And might as well pick that up. And definitely go for these guys first. Don't want to deal with their putting everyone to sleep bullshit. 
probably one of the most annoying statuses in the game. Just because you can literally just do nothing. Alright. Cool, cool. Let's go over here. Get this, just because it's in our way. Get this, because it's in our way. And... Let's, uh... Let's see how much this does. I haven't done this in a while. Eh, it's not the worst. Not, not a great skill, but not the worst. I have some decent SP right now, too. And that's one thing that's really uh, important to note about this game. Because of the fact that it operates on uh, the level system like it does, and by that I mean by the end of the game, for part one, you're about supposed to be close to level 35-ish. That's the recommended level to beat it at. You know, since it's operating on a relatively kind of small level system compared to most RPGs, it, it's kind of to that point where it's like, well, yeah, um, wait, that looped around. Oh, I didn't even see that thing up there. I'm blind. But, uh, yeah, like, out of 30 levels, compared to RPGs that normally go up to 50, or 50, I can't English today. They go up to, like, 99 or 100. Comparatively, that's way smaller, which means that you get way more bang for your buck per level. Suit yourself. Alright. Fair enough. And on we go. Mage of Soul is always nice. For some reason I want to go on the right side. Get these out of the way, and get you out of the way. Might as well grab this. Ooh, made you some. That's probably the one item that I am always like super happy to get in a dungeon, just because made soul. Oof, that is absolutely a helpful item, no matter what. Let's go up. Oh, hey. Oh, joining in. Right as she gets to this. If I'm not mistaken, Earth is weak to wood. Yeah, it is. Holy crap. That's great. Alright, Gardenia. You are surprisingly strong. Very well. I will accept it under two conditions. Excellent. One, you will join my party when I summon you. Damn. And second, do not call me Miss. That is all. I can respect that. All right, then. I'll be using an item to escape. Since those girls are probably waiting for me on B1. Understandable. I really wish you would just let me have the god statue then. Was Miss Gardenia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, did... just, whatever. Just what? shut the heck up. You got... No one cares about what? your freaking obsession. It's a game. Get a life. But yeah, we got some decent leveling in there, actually. So that's really nice. Cool, cool, cool. So, that was actually a pretty neat and tidy wrap-up. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Frames, frames, please. Alright. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go over here and save and we'll uh, wrap up for the episode. Oof. We're getting ever so closer to the end of this part of the series. But yeah. So... We have Gardenia now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. She is a long arm, by the way, which means that she uses stabs, uh, or, well, uh, spears, pole arms, that sort of thing, I should say. 
so it'll definitely be pretty good and uh, kind of a spoiler alert, but she's actually really good. Like, she's a pretty good party member and a lot of final parties actually have her in it. So, awesome, good, good, good. I'm pretty excited. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna end it here. Next time we will absolutely go and tackle that other uh, dungeon where the white, the girl in white was. But until next time, take care, good fight, and goodbye.